Hey there! Let's talk about polynomial long division. And what this is, is the same thing as your normal division, let's say 18 divided by 3 is 6. And it's the same concept, except there's now x's. And just like this, the 3 would be our divisor, and the 18 would be our dividend, and this question mark would be our 6, which is the quotient. So let's get started here. The basic concept here is to find what goes into the first value here, the x degree. So let's say x minus 1 times something equals x squared. And we're only interested at the x's, so that would be x. So let's write x here, and x times x minus 1 would be x squared minus x. And we would subtract it and distribute the negative, so we would get just 4x. Now we have to bring that down and do the same thing again. So what times x equals 4x? Well, that would be plus 4. So 4x minus 4, subtract, distribute, and our remainder is 9. How do we write a remainder? Well, the remainder is the number left over over the divisor. So that would be our final answer, x plus 4 plus 9 divided by x minus 1. It's the same idea as division, so let's get started with a harder problem now. Here's our next problem. You might be wondering why I have this huge space right here, but we need it because we need to have placeholders for each degree. Even though we don't have any number, we can just represent it by using 0x or 0x squared. So let's get started. What times x equals x cubed? That'd be x squared. x cubed plus 2x squared. Subtract that, and we would get negative 2x plus 0x. And if we put that in, we would get x times what equals negative 2x squared, which would be negative 2x. So negative 2x and negative 2x times x plus 2 would be negative 2x minus 4x. Let's just do the same thing again, and we would get 4x. 4x minus 1, and finally we'll do that one more time, and we'll get x times what equals 4x, that's plus 4. And 4x plus 8, subtract, almost done, and we would get negative 9 as our remainder. So we would write this as x squared minus 2x plus 4 plus a remainder of negative 9 over x plus 2. And that's our final answer. Let's review the process. So step 1, what do we do? We divided the leading term by the dividend. So divide leading term. Step 2. What do we do next? Well, we multiply to see what was the result. Step 2. Multiply by leading term with the whole number. In step 3, we subtracted. So step 3, subtract. And we did this as many times as needed until we got our final remainder. Sometimes we won't get a remainder, but most of the times we will. Thank you for watching. This has been Polynomial Long Division, provided to you by SATFreePractice.com.